All right, and now I'm gonna go over the new tool from Google called Squish App. So what this tool does is it's gonna allow you to compress your images one, one by one in the browser in real time. So to do this, you just click and drag an image that you want compressed or you can select an image here. So I have another window open, so I'm just gonna click and drag this image into here. So as you can see, there's a, a slider here a dialog box here and over here. So the first thing I recommend doing is uh, while you're building out your website, size your images to the dimensions that you're gonna need. Uh, don't rely on uh, this tool over here to resize them. I mean, you can, but I think it's better to resize them in uh, you know, Photoshop or something similar to that and then bring it into here. So then you know exactly how it's gonna look without having to rely on this tool for the resizing. So as you can see, the left side of the image right here where my cursor is moving is the original. And this is how the compressed version is going to look. So you can you know, go back and forth. You can use this tool to zoom in, zoom out. Um, this rotates. And this button, if you need to go back up here in the top left, is to go back to the home page. So um, as you can see, the original image is about uh, one megabyte. And without changing any settings, uh, with a compression of Moz JPEG at 75, you're already at 125 kilobytes. So huge savings, and you can see right here at while you're at 100%, you can you know, go back and forth and you see very little change. So uh, right out of the gate, this is perfect. Um, uh, so under compress, they have all these different formats. And the two, the two that I use the most are these two right here, this OMT uh, PNG and Moz JPEG. So these are the two I use. I haven't quite started using WebP yet. I'm gonna wait a little bit more to, to work with that. And then they have the browser uh, compressions here. So most of the time I just use the Moz JPEG. So what I recommend doing is doing this. So you, what you do is you can scroll through. So right here, you can lower the quality slider and you can see in real time how bad uh, you know the background how noisy it's getting so what I like to do is you know scroll scroll it to a little a little bit where you can see a little compression happening but not much that's what I would recommend doing so this is why I love this tool because it allows you to see it in real time rather than you know using Photoshop or tiny JPEG or any of these other image tools where you can't see it in real time. So this actually will save you tons of time if you have to do a bunch of them while you're developing your website. So usually I find around, you know, it's this is why I like this tool so much because it's going to vary depending on your images. Sometimes I can go down as low as like 50 and other images that are busier, I might only be able to get away with like 80 or 90. So um, in this example, I would feel comfortable going around uh, maybe like 60 or so. So what I what I kind of do is, you know, I'll scroll in a little bit and see, you know, which what kind of details lost or noisy. So depending on your use case, it's going to always this will always change. So that's why it's it's kind of good that you're not doing these in bulk because you don't have this full control. And if you go over here under show advanced settings, there's tons of uh, these settings. I haven't really played around with much of these settings yet, but it gives you a lot of controls. So you can kind of poke around and play around. But I found that most of the time I never have to open that up and I just kind of slide this. And when you're done, it's as simple as just clicking this download button and that's it. So now I went from one megabyte all the way down to 89.7 kilobytes. So. This is gonna help your websites load a lot faster and give you better scores in tools like Google PageSpeed Insights. So this is a very handy tool and we're using it uh, moving forward uh, while we're developing our websites. So hope this was helpful and make sure to visit our website at wikidesign.com. Thanks.